Hey, this is Demon Driver, and here's the bulkhead. Here are the top, I mean, here's the backbone. Here are the top sections of the bulkhead. Here are the end, here's the end bulkhead, nose bulkhead. Now we're going to put in the lower sections. We're going to add those right now. We're going to make sure that they line up. Now we're going to add them. I want to show you something here. Here's the backbone. Now this is really door. You can see. See, this is why I build it like this. And it's tough. This carbon fiber piece. See, you don't see any bouncing. You don't see any vibration. It's tough. You can have a hard landing and this is going to survive. It's not going to bend. It's not going to, it's going to be tough. This carbon fiber piece makes everything tough. So now we're going to put the lower pieces on. I want you to see what I'm doing here. I want you to see everything that's happening. Okay. Brush. Batteries are great for weighing down things that you don't want to move. want this to move. Okay. We're going to mix up some epoxy. Speed squares. Two part epoxy, mix it up, that's what we do. Brush, bulkhead. I'm applying the epoxy to the bulkhead, to the bottom piece of the bulkhead. And now, I'm going to apply it, just like that. Now, 
put the speed square, this little mini square, I'm going to put that right there, to ensure it doesn't move. something like that to keep it from falling over. Like that. There we are. Just like that. See? See, does that make sense? Lower bulkhead mini speed square holding it upright so it's perfectly straight and I got a little piece of you know I got a piece of I got a tape you know tape holding it up keeping it from rolling over because this is slanted a little bit so that's how you do that that's bulkhead number one for the lower portion so let's get you positioned for bulkhead application number two. Get you guys close. Get you real close. Okay. This is weighing this down, holding it in position. There's the line that the lower bulkhead is going to ride on. Now, I already have epoxy mixed up. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it before it kicks. Got to be quick. Got to be quick before it kicks. Okay. There we are. Just like that. See? Just like that. Right on the line. Perfectly straight across on the line. Get my speed square. Because I want this to be... I want it to be perfect. Alright. I'm using that to prop up the speed square so that everything is straight. You want precision. You want things to be as precise as you can get them. Because the more precise things are, the more, the easier things fit together. And what I mean by that is the easier the wing box is going to fit right in here. Okay? The wing is going inside here. From there to there is the wing box. Now, when everything is built properly and it matches the plans, okay, when you match that with, ex with precisely what you have on plan, everything works out better. Everything fits together perfectly. That's really what you want to do. You want everything to fit together. These airliners work, and RC planes work in general, when you try and get as precise as you can possibly get. Precision is a good thing. Now, it takes years of practice, but it's a, you can do it. Now, I'm not perfect, not by any stretch of the imagination. But if you pay attention to what you're doing, you can improve. You can get better with every plane. With every plane you build, you can get better. I really believe that. I strongly believe that.
Okay, we're going to make up. We're going to mix up some more epoxy. Let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to mix up some more epoxy right now. These are old spent brushes. They're done. Once you use a brush, it's done with epoxy. You throw them away. Get cheap brushes. Go to dollar stores and get cheap and expensive, you know, children's brushes that you can just throw away. See? You get a spent razor. You get an old spent razor. And there we go. Start mixing. You mix up the two parts just like that. You mix them up pretty good. You mix them up just like that. Make sure they're thoroughly mixed. Okay, they're thoroughly mixed. Now, what we do is We're going to apply our next bulkhead. Get our brush. We're brushing it on. Brushing on the epoxy right to the bottom of the bulkhead. Right to the bottom of the bulkhead. Just like that. See? It's that simple. Now, we just pop it on. We just apply it. Just like that. See? Like pieces of the jigsaw puzzle. It just fits together. Whoop. Camera almost fell over. Sorry about that. Ooh, oops. That was kind of crazy. There we go. Get you guys straightened up again. All right. There we are. Okay, we get our speed square. Hop in our speed square. Okay, that's pretty good. That's where I want it. Okay. Now that's what I want. Perfect. There we are. So we can find little things to prop up that speed square with. And that's you want to do that. You want to prop it up so it doesn't fall over. So just get this little bottle of epoxy here. And I'm going to pop it right there. There we go. Nope, that's not working out too well. Okay, wait a minute here. It's not working too well either. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's gonna have to do for now. Okay, let's get another let's get another bulkhead on there. Trying to do as much as I can in front of you here. See? Just like that. And here we are. Pop another bulkhead right on there. And I hope this MD80 is my lightest airliner yet. I'm really hoping to get a to get a lightweight plane here. To get something really really featherweight. Uh, three bulkheads set and we're going to put one more right there and then we're going to be done with the bulkheads and then we're going to go to Deproning wrapping our two millimeter Depron 
around the fuselage. That's going to be a lot of fun. Coming up.